In this video, I'll take you through how to upgrade your Ledger Nano S. So this is one of the older devices. It has very limited memory on this. And most of the time you can only install up to four applications on here. So you have to cycle through the tokens that you have or want to have access to. And in the Cardano ecosystem with the governance era now, the application is quite large. It's about 100 kilobytes which pretty much takes up all the space on this. So you're, you're limited there, but I'll take you through how to upgrade this. At the moment, it's on version five for me. So it hasn't been upgraded for quite a long time. And now they're up to version 7.3, which is all enabled for the Conway era. So let's go through and upgrade this, upgrade all the bits and pieces that we need. Now to get started with this upgrade, you will need the Ledger Live application itself. So you can go to the Ledger Live website here, ledger.com slash ledger hyphen live and you'll be able to get to this download page you can google it i'll put links down below i'm on windows at the moment so i will need to download this and install the application now i have already downloaded this particular application so i'm already ready to go now from the left hand menu here you can click on ledger and this will prompt you to connect your device so connect your device and go ahead and enter in your pin and then the application will detect that you're connected now you just need to authorize access for the Ledger Live app. So you'll see this here, just click on allow Ledger and you're good to go. I've already got the Cardano application installed there, but let's see what the Ledger application says for me. Okay, so everything overall looks good here, but the, this is the update that's available here. So now if I expand this update available tab here. I can see that my Cardano application is, uh, there is an update for it to 7.1.3, it's 82 kilobytes. So it's not too big at all. So in this case, all I need to do is click on update all, and this will download the application onto my device and start upgrading it. So it's a fairly easy process. You can see on the device itself that it is updating. So it won't take too long at all. And that's it, we're done. <laughs> really, really easy to do. So you can see here now that the application is at 7.1.3 and you can actually check this on the application itself on the ledger. So I'm just gonna scroll through the options here. There's about, so I'll go into the about section and there you can see that it has definitely been upgraded to version 7.1.3. So I this device is now ready for the Conway era, everything post Chang hard fork. So really good here. Now let me show you what you can actually do with the device now. Okay, so this is my wallet here. Obviously I've got all the values hidden, but you can see this little prompt message here that now appears. Please consider delegating to a DREP for governance actions. It will be required in the following era to be able to withdraw your staking rewards. That is right, you read that correctly. If you do not uh, delegate to a DREP or take a particular governance actions, you will not be able to withdraw your ADA rewards. You will still accumulate those rewards, you just won't be able to withdraw them. Now at this point in time recording this, Eternal is the only wallet that I know of that has these governance actions built into it at the moment. The other wallets will have them ready uh, within the next few weeks or months or so uh, before uh, governance fully kicks in in December. Now I will show you how this all works here within Eternal. If you click on voting here and then click on blockchain governance, so not Catalyst, Catalyst and blockchain on Cardano is very different. So I'm gonna click on blockchain governance and here you have the various options of what you can do. So here you can abstain or click on no confidence and they are the default actions for your wallet. If you don't wanna participate in governance, if you find it too hard, too confusing to do any of this stuff and you just want to collect your ADA rewards, you can take those options there. You can abstain for everything, delegate your wallet, sign that transaction on your ledger device. It will only cost you a transaction cost, maybe 0.17 ADA, and then you'll be able to withdraw your ADA rewards. That is the bare minimum. But if you wanna control and contribute to the future of Cardano, you can actually uh, delegate on your own uh, register as a DREP yourself and then start contributing to the votes within the Cardano ecosystem. So at this point I can delegate to myself and become a DREP. So I'm going to click on own account. This will allow you to choose which account you're delegating to if you have sub accounts. So choose the account that you're actually on at the moment. 
Now you can put in a URL about yourself, maybe it's your X profile, a linked tree or a LinkedIn profile, whatever it might be, you can put in that extra info there. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Click on next. Now this is the next part of the transaction that you need to sign here. In this case, you can see that there is a deposit of 500 ADA. If you are registering for yourself and voting on your own behalf, it will cost you 500 ADA to register. If you want to be a DREP and gain voting power delegation to yourself, again, it will cost you that 500 ADA. It is the exact same process. So here I'll go ahead and sign that and then sign it on my device here. All right, there we go. So now my transaction is going on chain. So here you can see my DREP ID. It's all registered, it's all on chain. So now I'm ready for the Conway era and ready for uh, governance on the Kadana ecosystem. So if you were wanting to now gain voting power, voting delegation, you would share this particular ID out to the community and the community can then go through and delegate to that particular ID. Okay. So now let's say you don't want to be a DREP, you don't want to have that, uh, that responsibility or you don't want to vote on your own because you don't know what you're voting for. So you can delegate to an existing DREP. This here, for example, is my DREP ID. You can get it on my X profile here. Yeah, I am posting about chess at the moment, but this is my DREP ID. And all you need to do is copy this particular ID and then go back to Eternal. And then from this drop down option here of new vote delegation, you can specify the DREP ID instead. Paste in that DREP ID there and then click on delegate. This will give you a brand new transaction that you need to sign and then you can just delegate your wallet to that particular DREP. Now at the time of this recording on the desktop application, Eternal uh, is just waiting for the Google Play Store to uh, allow for their latest update and version to uh, get this all working. But from this point here, all you need to do then is sign that transaction and your wallet would be delegated to the particular DREP. And in this case, it'll be my DREP ID. So it's a very easy process. This is all you need to do in this governance era at the moment. There's no governance actions on chain, so you don't need to vote for anything. But there are governance proposals being put out there already. And the very first one here is from the parameters committee looking to raise that K value for the ecosystem for all the state pools to 1000. Currently K, which is the parameter for how many state pools are needed to mint blocks in the Kadana ecosystem is set at 500. And they're looking at raising this from K and they're looking at raising K from 500 to 1000. So this, this was talked about last year and there was a general community consensus on online voting and uh, on chain voting as well to get this to 1000 state pools. So this will really help with a lot of the small state pool operators out there to start minting more blocks. So they have the ability to actually mint because they're included in that uh, pool of state pools that are required to mint. So this is going to be a very interesting one to see how this um, plays out, whether we leave K as it is, raise K or revisit the reward sharing scheme. So we've got a couple of options here in regards to this proposal. Now, this is in proposal stage. Once it's uh, past the proposal stage, it will go to a governance action, which then we can vote upon. So uh, this, this has got a couple of steps to go, but keep your eye out for this one. Governance is now active and live on the Kadana ecosystem, and we are ready for it by voting for these particular actions here like this. So really interesting to see, and hopefully this tutorial has helped you to upgrade the application, the Kadano app on your Ledger Nano S so that now you can go and participate in governance on the Kadano ecosystem. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, and you get a lot more video tutorials from me all about what's happening in the Kadano ecosystem. I'll see you in the next video.